There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Man, I ain't going to bother with all that. I got too many a.k.a.s. A.k.a.s alone take about five freaking minutes. But as always, I'm in the building. I'm giving you knowledge. I'm kicking you facts. And, oh, yeah, as they say, I speak with complex words to impress you guys, the listener. So if you're not impressed, get a dictionary because I'm about to get you some more words to use, which a lot of you guys should be doing anyway. But uh, I'm going to talk about all you dreamers, the doers, the talkers. Like, I'm going to tell you how, how to manage others' expectation of what you're doing. You know, there's a lot of people here who are dreamers, talkers, and doers. If you look on your Facebooks, Facebook is notorious for this. It's, out of all the, all the all the social media sites, Facebook is the only one I know where there's a lot of dreamers out there. Because you want to know why? Everybody's a model taking 55 million pictures in your bathroom. When really, if you went to a real model agency, they would laugh your at their ass off at you. You're just going for likes. Big deal. Get paid first. You got all these wannabe rappers, all stars, country singers. You got all this crap on Facebook. And that's why I rotate more on Google Plus because there's a lot of doers and a lot of networking you can go on there. But I digress. But you can manage the expectations of how others have of your product. And I'll give you three easy steps. Number one, you have to manage the expectation people have of you. You can't set the bar too high, you can't set the bar too low. What I do, I, get, I tell people, look, man, here's what it is. I lay it out for them, and then I make, let them make the decision, you know? I give them clear, concise. Um, I give them a clear, concise, simple message throughout my presentations. You know, and whatever I'm doing, it's clear, concise. It's on point. It's it's real deal here. You know, I admit to my faults. You know, I show that. You know, I show that I'm sometimes an ass. I'm showing I'm human, really. You know, I never extend myself to the point where I'm making exaggerated claims or understatements. You know. I, I never, I never try to lead people to believe that I'm type of type of God. I, I'm just, I'm a human, first and foremost. I'm like you guys, just a human. So that's how you want to do it. You want to manage their expectation. You want to be realistic, and that's what, that's why I said Facebook. You'll see a lot of unrealistic motherfuckers over there. If you don't believe me, go over. Second step, you want to manage the potential problems you see coming down the road. You know. Let the viewers know about your interruptions or anything you got going on. Like, I'll tell people I'm, I'm guilty of this sometimes myself. Like, well, I have a, I have a schedule of uploads. I'm usually uploading videos on Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And all through that, I'm promoting my videos. All through them, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Google, I'm on Twitter, I'm on everything. But I, if, I, if something happens, I'll say, hey, look, man, I can't upload a video. This is why I got some real, like I tell people, I still have a J-O-B going on. So I'm at the J-O or I have, like, we're getting, we get hectic hours at the J-O and God bless that I have a job. You know, I work a lot of hours. So I do this in between and now this is starting to come up. And so I got to try to balance the two. Like, have I, have I missed the J-O because of this video thing? Yes, I have. You want to know why? Because the money was more that day for the doing the video thing than the jail. So I just, just I had to pick and choose, but I can't do that all the time once I get fired. So that's the second step. You gotta if you can like manipulate, you'll succeed. It's not manipulation because you're not you're not you're being honest, but you're trying to manipulate your time which you're doing. That's what I do. I just manipulate my time, but I don't manipulate the viewers. So let me clear that up. The third step, manage the result. You now give people a feeling of confidence in your brand. You know, that's like, like they, they can depend on, like it's dependable, like like your brand, whatever you say and do, you have to be steady. It's more, it's kind of like the first step, but you, you gotta be consistent throughout. You can't say, well, I like green, green my favorite color, and keep on saying it in that one video, blue's my favorite color, because you're not being consistent. I know that's a lame, that's a lame example, but it, you get the point. If some of you don't get the point, I can't help you. You address your concerns and the results. Like in my videos, I may give, I may, there may be a problem I address, 
but I also address the solution. I'm not the one of these guys that's just trying to trying to get their buck up on YouTube. I'm not trying to get no revenue, although I do get a revenue. Be upfront with you guys, I do get a revenue share from my from my group, from the people I'm signed to. So, but at the same time, I have no hidden agendas. Like I'm not. If you look at my videos, I don't make no wild and crazy videos picking on certain people. If I do say something, it's because I'm mad. But at the same time, I give you something that you know. I show you how you can turn that around and resolve shit. I'll give you both a pro and con. It's up to you to choose. I can't make your decision for you. If I could, let everybody be doing some pros. You know what I mean? You know, I give you a plan of action. I give you what to do. I give you how to do it. You know, I show you a point of view. I give you, I give people what they want to hear, and I, and I and I I'm blessed for that. So, like people tend to be. People, people tend to feel you more because they feel they can relate to you through this video. And that's what I try to give. I try to give you an honest expectation. No matter if you're from Crown Heights, Brooklyn, or if you're from Sydney, Australia, or if you're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or if you're from Warsaw, Poland, or you could be from Los Angeles, you could be from freaking London, you could be from Joburg, South Africa, the Rio de Janeiro. I tell you stuff that's going on in everyday life around the world. And that's what I give you. Now, a lot of people want to just focus on a lot of other stupid stuff. Well, that's them. Let them do it. Let them I stay in my lane. Now, if somebody gets in my lane, well, I have to kind of get them out of my lane, don't I? So, that's all you can do. You can you just manage others' expectations of you. I mean, don't set the bar too high. Don't set it too low. Do what I do. Set it in the middle. All right? Deuce. There. That's it. That's him.